Whether you admit it or not, everyone has a digital information routine. A couple weeks ago, we talked about information, the general concept of information on our njroot22.com vlog. And this week, we're going to drill down a little bit more into, uh, into a bucket. I like to call it. It's like a digital information routine. Um, for most people, in my opinion, this is the nonstop checking of their social media feeds. And now there's like dozens of social media timelines that people like to follow up on. It, it's, it's gotten to the point where you need all day to check up on these things. Facebook, Twitter, uh, uh, what, what are some of the other ones? Uh, I can't even remember them all because we don't use them. But they get dings and vibrates like Pavlov's dog. Uh, uh, I'm constantly checking, 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 checking. And they check when they wake up. They check when they go to sleep. Um, they might, I, I don't know. It's just over, overwhelming. And, but it's not even just the social media stuff. It's um, any kind of information that you would get through a digital medium, whether it's your computer or your phone, uh, your tablet. And I think it's, uh, I think the routine of people following up on these things, it's a, basically a human being thing, I like to call it. Um, you know, 50 years ago, people uh, couldn't wait till they got their morning paper thrown by the paper boy on their front stoop. And they would sit there in their easy chair and their pipe and their coffee, and they would read some, you know, propaganda that was peddled out because they just want to know what's happening with Russia, what's happening with uh, some you know, arms trade or like, it's like a little, it's like a one big movie. Um, and you constantly want to know what happens next in that movie. So it's like checking, you know, but back then you, you, you checked and you moved on. Now it's, you have your checking device with you. You know, it's a thousand times worse. You, you, it, you have so much information pending updates in your head that I think it's, it may have some sort of a long-term uh, detriment. Uh, we'll find out. Maybe the next generation will, will be able to undo that. You know, it, it could be a million other things too, like websites, uh, blogs like ours, uh, video channels. You get updates. You get little notifications on your apps and your phones for YouTube channels or any other kind of video streaming network. It could be this, the scores in the playoff game. I see people, you know, checking, checking to see what the score is. Say they're out with the family against their will eating uh, dinner and they, they'll go check, uh, they'll in the bathroom, they're checking their fantasy scores. They're, there's always something to, to check. It's, a, it's just unbelievable. Even weather fanatics, they, uh, they always want to check the latest computer model. Oh, let's see, is that storm going to hit us? And, you know, nine times out of ten, it goes somewhere else. Um, I don't know. I, I think everybody has some kind of routine, uh, information routine, or more specifically, a digital information routine. I think there's some are worse than others, and I believe the social media people go into that bucket. But, you know, you, it makes you wonder, is it best to mix things up or just unplug from your routine? Do you really need to know all this stuff every single day or multiple times a day? Um, I, I really think it, it's akin to a constant web where you can't really get out of, of wanting to know all this stuff. And in the end, if you ever look back at all the things you looked up and checked on, uh, did it make a difference in your life? Was it really important? Did you uh, um, escape a ravaging flood or a massive wall of hot lava? I don't know. That's it. That's it for this little uh, vlog today. If you like my content, please hit the like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you next video.